Santar ha, Santar ha, I look like a potato this morning. I haven't gotten ready yet, as I'm sure you can see. And you might be wondering why the hell this is here right now. Well, it's because we were given kind of a very sudden, not much time to plan type of invitation to come and do Paracon at Pennhurst. That is this weekend. We only have had about a week and a half to plan, which was interesting. We do have some Halloween-y merch. We do have some kind of vaguely spooky stuff that we've made in the past, but usually I don't bring that out until fall and it's not even summer yet. So I have been spending the last week rushing around trying to figure out what kind of interesting stuff to make because a lot of people are now renting their houses so they don't have as much wall space to put up posters understandable so i was like what tangible things can i make at first i was like what about our keychains our keychains are doing really well at other comic cons but the only problem with that is even though there was a guarantee that the girl I get our keychains manufactured from could get them done in time. I was just too scared. I was like, it's too risky. If I put the money into that and it turns out something happens in the mail and they don't arrive in time, then I will just have nothing. So I'd rather not do that. I'd rather spend the money on something that I actually know will get done in time. So I decided this is attached to my Cricut. This is the Cricut booty right here. I'm using my Cricut right now to make my own sticker packs, die cut sticker packs, and it is so fun. It took me like an entire day to fully figure out what I was doing with it. I was like, I've never done this with it before. What the hell am I supposed to do? But eventually I figured it out and it's going really well so far. I'm really excited to be able to sell those. It's gonna be my first time selling sticker packs. I've got over the garden wall, I've got Bramble the Mountain King, and then we're also going to have some just kind of free-floating die-cut stickers of different spooky movies and cute things like that. So I think that should do pretty well at this event. And the other exciting thing about the fact that we have this opportunity is that Jack Osborne's going to be there. So is Dakota, who used to be on Ghost Adventures. I know he's starting his own thing right now. I can't remember the title of it, though, unfortunately, because it's so new. And we are going to be part of a mixer with some of these people. Like, I'm going to be meeting all of these paranormal investigators, hanging out with them. I get to go into Pennhurst until like one in the morning on Friday, and it's really exciting. So, I decided, hey, it's content. I saw that in the past they have had no problem with people vlogging the experience, so that is what I'm going to be doing because I'm excited. I'm going to try to vlog both the paranormal investigation as well as the convention itself so you can kind of get a sense of what it's like because there's a lot of paracons in the United States, okay? It's kind of like Wizard Con, how there's a bunch of them in different areas. The problem with that is when I was trying to look into what past paracons have been like, all I could find was like Indiana and stuff. I couldn't find the Pennhurst one, weirdly enough. So I was like, okay. So people have something from after 2014, 2015, I'm gonna go ahead and film my experience there so people can see it. But yeah, this is kind of a short video. I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew I was gonna be there. So if you wanted to come and see my table, see the kinds of stuff that I do, or do the paranormal investigation with me, I think there's still some VIP tickets for the hunt itself left. And the prices were really not that bad for most of it. But yeah, that's where I'm going to be this weekend. And I honestly cannot wait.